it's a complete chaos. Everything is just... Ugh. I don't know where to start. But... We can do this. Today, I am packing my things. So I'm going back in the Philippines. It was a good two years and a half, and I believe that today, it's time to pack my things and head back to the Philippines. So last night, I've segregated my things, clothes, and then my knickknacks. Good luck if I can fit everything in two big bags. I've just finished packing this uh, luggage and it's around 35 kilos onto my second bag. <laughs> Second luggage, time to put my knickknacks in and uh, stuff. Dude, packing is tiring. Hey. Let me tell you guys my story of being an OFW. Right. August of 2014, I went to Malaysia to apply. My friend and I went to Malaysia to apply for AirAsia as a cabin crew and taking that risk. At the end of the month, I received a message that I was accepted for the job. I was back in the Philippines processing papers. I waited for five months. February of 2015, I flew here. Started my training and became an OFW. Here's the thing. Never in my life that I ever imagined that I'll be an OFW. To be one, it opened my eyes to deeper understanding and it gave me a wider perspective in life. Because the reason why I went overseas and worked because I was yearning for independence and that I want to prove something to myself and also make my parents more proud. Homesickness didn't uh, sink in. It was all excitement. You know, being in a new environment, homesickness wasn't an issue for me. I started flying. In my situation, I couldn't, I really couldn't consider myself an OFW because I can go back home every month. It's just me being based out of the country and working here. Technically, yeah, I am an OFW, but compared to my fellow OFWs who can't go back home for at least two years, I have big respect for you guys. It's not easy. I know it's not easy. With my experience, I posted a status December of 2015. I thought I wasn't gonna spend Christmas in the Philippines. I had my own sentimental moment wherein I realized that it's true that you'd get to appreciate something once it's gone. The Christmas carols, the Christmas lights, Jose Marie Chan, and you know, these little things that we do on Christmas, that's when I get to appreciate all of them. And I remember celebrating New Year here because I had to go back because I have a flight on December 31st. And coming back home around 9 in the evening and going on FaceTime with my parents. Fireworks and noises because they're welcoming the New Year. And I was just here having my dinner, simple dinner. It's sad. It, it is sad. And I just thought of the other OFWs who couldn't celebrate Christmas, New Year with their family, and they just have to compromise and you know look at the look at the brighter side of life. They're doing this, they're working overseas to give their family better opportunities, better future. See that I still have the package. 
lot has happened for the past two and a half years. Some are bad, mostly they're good. If I could just turn back time, February of 2015, I would still take the risk of working overseas because the experience and the lessons that I've learned here is incomparable. It has taught me humility. It gave me a bigger understanding in life. It taught me how to appreciate the small things in life. And most of all, I've learned the value of family. That you can travel the world. You can go to places, experience new things, try new cuisines. But at the end of the day, going back to your family, living life with your family is the greatest feeling ever. It's irreplaceable. It's incomparable. I am, I am sad. I am sad because I am leaving. But I am excited for the life that is waiting for me in the Philippines. And I am excited to be with my family again. And I don't have to go through the struggle and the loneliness every time I go back to the Philippines and then come back here. So, yeah. Well, it's getting too sentimental. Come on, let's go. Let's go back to back. <laughs> I never thought packing would be this exhausting. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please do remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And always remember, smile always, be happy, good vibes on tayo lagi, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I was supposed to end the video there, but someone visited me and brought me dinner! That is dinner. This is the visitor. I'm just saying, you have a chance to run, yeah? You have a chance to run. <laughs> chance to others. Hi vlog! Bye vlog! Bye vlog! <laughs> Airline that caters to short short haul flights. Domestic flights of Philippine Airlines. Way back 19 <laughs> Tanungin nyo ako, anong mga gustong mga tanong nyo sa akin, sasagutin ko. Why is the sky blue? This yeah. is the reflection of the... <laughs> Alright, why is the sky blue? Hey, uh, labas mo, labas mo yung legs mo ng kote. Labas mo yung kote. Spread mo yung legs mo. Labas mo yung legs mo ng kote. Ba't mo kasi pinapahirapan sa sarili mo? Kasi kailangan yun para may laban sa buhay. Kailangan lalaban tayo yung salang ng aspeto ng buhay natin. Para hindi tayo natatapakan. <laughs> Anak maging dorma. Para tapakan. <laughs> wow! <laughs> hindi ako pinanganak maging dorma para tapakan lang. Bye, vlog! <laughs>